thank you very much. Looking forward to the upcoming national championship. <laughs> uh, you know what, this is special. This is really great to be on the caravan. The stops we've had, it's been great reception and it completely, it, it always blows me away. Uh, the support of the alumni at Penn State. What has struck me throughout my time at Penn State is I met a lot of wonderfully ordinary people. And what that meant is that I look out over the rooms over the past couple of days and I see some wonderfully or ordinary people who have achieved some extraordinary results with the advantages that they received at Penn State. I, I just like to say that, um, say a big thank you to you because you don't, you're, you don't win a championship by yourself. It's, it's everybody, it's the coaches, but it's certainly the fans and, and the <coughs> that you guys bring with us, uh, or give to us every night. It was a really fun season. I'm sure everybody here realizes it, but we are extremely fortunate and blessed to have four of the best coaches in the country come to Youngstown today. So we just want to thank all four of you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's many messages, few messages that we want to get across here as coaches and then myself as the football coach. And, and one of them is to, to, to make sure that everybody here understands, and I know there's uh, four or five former football players here, and I, I really want everybody, especially those guys, to understand one thing, and that is how much respect that I have and my staff has for the past. I'm not here to be Joe Paterno. I'm here to make sure that we continue the standard that he set. The balance between great, tough, smart football and making sure that our guys receive a well-rounded college education. That's why I'm here. I believe that he's the right man for, uh, for the job. And as a former letterman, we're all behind him and wishing the best. Representing everyone here, we have a small parting gift for each of you. It's sort of, uh, as I would call it, a case of Cleveland, topped off by something that one of our local alumni called 